Guitarist Rich Williams of Kansas talks about Frank Marino of Mahogany Rush. How he was underrated and a hard guy to figure out. There, are there ever Canadian performers that you've really loved? Um, well, as soon as you say that, of course, most people go to Rush, you know. And yeah, Rush. I remember they opened for us several times before they exploded into beyond super. Did you hang yeah. with them at all? Did you hang with them? Not really. No, they were, and they seemed really young and <clears throat> interesting band. Um, Triumph, uh, another one, talented. You know, I was kind of you know, what's the deal with the three piece guys in Canada? And all, and they sure sounded a lot bigger than that. Um, <laughs> uh, but I think my my most inspirational one of all that another three piece was Mahogany Rush. We'd work together quite a bit. And Frank Marino was uh, kind of hard to figure out. He was a little bit distant. distant. We, we, I mean, this is in the early days. When we're just all guys in bands and glad to be there. And we hung around with, with the bass player and guitar player all the time. And they were just fun band guys. And Frank was kind of a quiet, moody guy in the background. I had a lot of fun with him and what a monster player he was. My God. And I remember just watching him and he had this wall of every amplifier known all connected in playing that SG. And I was, uh, it was I just kind of watched, I couldn't quite figure it all out. You know, where did the talent come from and why all this shit up there? And it was, they were just, they were a cool band. Uh, just had a really good rapport with them. And I read an excerpt recently from George, uh, from Frank Marino's book, and how all the assholes in this business, and you know, from this and that, promoters and all these bands, and always get screwed by all the bands and all this kind of stuff. Except when we worked with Kansas, they were great guys. I really enjoyed them. I really liked working with them. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, I no really, kidding. That's really something great. But, um, there's a guy that should be on anybody's list of top 10 players of, you know, people talk about underrated players, you know, that's, that's, there's a real list. And then there's just a fan list. I, I would put him on the, the real list. So did you hear, do you know, Danelli just died of the rascals? I, yeah. Who died? Did you say? Do you know Danelli? They're, they're oh, drummers. Dino Dinelli, I read that uh, this morning. Yes. That, that's uh You know, when I was in high school and, you know, even post-high school, we played bands that played entire rascal sets. Um, big influence on, you know, early Rich and early Kansas, really. We all played those songs. We'll have more from Rich Williams coming up in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Remember, you can help our channel. There are links in the description. Join our Patreon, check out our podcast. There's all the information in the description and, of course, all the latest from Kansas right there for you as well. This is Rocky Street Music. Take care of yourself.